Hi everyone and welcome to another one of my home renovation videos. If you don't know me, my name's Emma and me and my husband bought this three bedroom semi-detached house which we've been renovating and we continue to renovate and live in now. Most of it's done but as I'm sure most of you know, if you're renovating, there's still a lot of jobs to do. And yeah, this is the first video this year for me and I really need to start getting motivated and starting some of those projects I've had in mind. So my brother's gonna come around in a minute and start on one of the jobs I've had in mind for a couple of months now. It's a bit of a small job, but I think it'll make a nice difference. It is basically this kitchen larder. I mean, really useful space, don't get me wrong, but as I open it, hopefully you can see it's quite dark and you know, it goes quite far back. So sometimes when I'm finding ingredients for cooking, I'm just, I'm picking stuff up and I can't find stuff. So what my brother's gonna do is to install lights either side of the shelves and it's gonna be on a, a sensor as well. So as soon as the door opens, the light will turn on. So yeah, bit of a little job, like I said, but I think it'll make a nice difference and it might actually motivate me to try and organize this larder a bit better. These are the tools we have for the job and I should probably say that my brother is a trained, fully trained and certified electrician. So yeah, he knows what he's doing. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not touching this project, but we got some um, tape lights from, I think we got them from Screwfix. Just quite cheap, see if I can show you them. So they were literally like tape around the side and I'm gonna have to wait for him to get here to explain what this does. Right, my brother has arrived. So this, oh, where's it gone? It's here. So this is the driver for the lights, which is gonna go in here. You're gonna wire something in here? Yeah, the connections. Connections, okay. And then this box will actually go, not in this larder, but in the cupboard under the stairs up here and feed from this larder here. And yeah, okay. to clean up in there, all the mess that my brother left. And I've cleared everything out of all the shelves because as I started cleaning, I just felt like I just had to get everything out and clean it all before putting it back in again. And I've got so much stuff to sort out and put back in, let me show you. Okay, so all of this. Hoping I can, you know, chuck away a few things if it's gone out of date or whatever, but yeah, this is, you know, I really need to sort out a better organisation system for in here. I've tried looking at TikTok and Instagram and, well, I would call this a larder because I'm from the UK, but looks like a lot of people are calling it now a pantry, which is maybe more American. But yeah, I've tried to have a look at larder slash pantry ideas and can't really see any which are like this sort of size and I don't have anything on me like storage boxes or whatever so I think I'm just gonna try and neaten it up in there with what I've got and look into storage boxes options another time. <laughs> Next 
weekend now and I'm in the spare room just sitting down getting my cameras all charged because we are going to start on the front garden. I don't know if I've spoken too much about this but if you watch my videos from before you probably saw me and my mum painting in the front garden last year, painting the fence panels and you might have seen the astroturf out on the front which I've never liked so we're going to get up the astroturf today. We think there's some sort of patio underneath it but we're not sure so we're going to see what's underneath it and see what we're dealing with to try and get that all up. It could be loose slabs which would be a good um, result because then we could just get these up and you know get started on what we want to get started on. So last year when we were painting the fence panels me and my mum tried to bring up one corner of that astroturf found it really difficult to do because it's secured by these like 10 inch nails. So yeah, we're not actually sure if that whole of that area is patioed or not. So David and his dad are gonna be getting up the AstroTurf today, hopefully, fingers crossed. And let's see what we're dealing with. So we're renovating our front garden, as you've probably seen, I'm going to title the video something along those lines. And we've got up the artificial grass a fair few weeks ago now, maybe even a couple of months ago. Underneath the grass we found a lot of sand, but underneath the sand we found patio slabs. So yes, that's kind of halted things for now and I've spoken to my uncle who helped us with our back garden renovation, with moving the paths and putting some sleepers in etc. He came around to have a look at it and said that we can get up the sand and you know see what we're going to do from there. So he didn't come around for a couple of weeks because he had some other jobs on but he did come around the other day. Remove the sand and we both had a look at the patio slabs. They're quite solid on there so we had a choice of either getting them all up or just putting some stones over the top because that is the finished plan I suppose I should mention. The finished plan is actually to put some stones, maybe light coloured stones over the top of it but also a bit of a wall around the square feature in the middle if you call it a feature. And yeah just making it look a bit prettier out there and also want to get some plant pots as well to you know add some life to it. But anyway yes yeah, so my uncle came around the other day with one of my cousins as well and uh, got up all the sand and also put down um, some charcoal uh, blocks I suppose down the driveway to keep the stones in and also around that square feature I mentioned as well which I was thinking about having wood there at first but wood will eventually rot so we've gone for blocks like block bricks instead. So that's where we are at the moment. I hope I've remembered everything correctly. So now we're about to go out. It's, it's Saturday today, so it's a weekend. I was hoping that it was gonna be a bit sunnier, but uh, it's not. But yeah, we're gonna go out and take a look at some decorative stones slash gravel, see what we want, potentially order it, but yeah, see where we go from here. our front garden is now almost complete and the work took place when I was at work the other day so unfortunately I didn't manage to capture a lot of the process but it was quite a quick job just to finish it off. My uncle and my cousin they just put down a membrane and obviously put those stones on top of that as well so yeah I think it looks so much better than before. Massive improvement. We still need to uh, get some smaller bags of those stones just to fill out a bit more of the area. You might be able to see that um, the membrane pokes through in some bits of it and we've got some little jobs to do as well like cutting down that bush on the side and the birds helpfully had a little mud bath in the mud bit in the middle uh, where the little tree is and the mud spilled over the charcoal blocks and into the stones a little bit as well so we just need to tidy that up. 
I also think it'll be really nice just to get some plant pots dotted around to brighten it up with nice colourful plants as well. So yeah, and I think that'll finish it off nicely. But like I said, I'm really pleased with it and it makes the front of the house look so much cleaner and night, uh, neater and brighter I think a lot of the, there was a lot of dark colors out there before but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I do have some more project projects coming up so if you've not subscribed to my channel please don't forget to subscribe before you go but otherwise thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one Bye.